Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we are going to be taking a quick look at the VRM thermal performance of the Gigabyte A520MH motherboard when running a stock 3950X, which is uh, exactly what it is doing right here, right now. Um, so, as you can see, it's just been looping Cinebench uh, for, well, ages now. Originally, I was planning to just run it over an hour, but then something came up, and so it's been running for almost three hours now. Um, anyway, um, the VRM is now at 100 degrees, according to the motherboard's built-in temperature sensor. According to the uh, K-type thermocouple that I have... Uh, let's flip this. There we go. Uh, according to the K-type thermocouple that I've sort of thermal pasted onto the VRM over there, uh, it's at around 103 degrees, and now it dropped because the test finished, and so, yeah, it's not real. like, I'm not really letting it, uh, this isn't really full bore 140 watts of power consumption non-stop, um, because obviously every time Cinebench finishes, the power consumption drops, but, um, yeah, it's just been running Cinebench on, on loop, and actually it's not even 122, like... The the board does seem to have a power, like, a power restriction built in, um, so... Which is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> um, if, if you're messing around with the overclocking, that, like, kind of works, even though it's not supposed to. Um, uh, yeah, so the, the board, like... Right now, like, the, the current temperature, this is, uh, well, technically speaking, it's okay. It's not, like, it could be, definitely it would be better if it was lower. Um, but if you, like, and also it is worth noting that I am using a Wraith Prism, which a 3950X does not come with a Wraith Prism. In fact, AMD recommends that if you buy a 3950X, you use a water cooler on it, which would act, which is actually really bad advice for a motherboard like this, because that Wraith Prism is currently doing almost 3,000 RPM, um, and that's the only thing keeping the VRM from getting even hotter than it already is. And, like, the thing is, the, the, the cooler, you know, like, it's blowing air straight down onto the board. It is, like, you don't replace this with, like, fancy case airflow configuration. Like, the only way you'd replace something like this is if you bought, like, a 2,500 RPM fan and attached it directly over the motherboard if you're using an AIO. Which just, yeah, like, you're probably, like, I don't think many people would be doing that. At the same time, many people wouldn't be putting a 3950X into a uh, A520MH uh, motherboard, because this is literally the cheapest A520 motherboard Gigabyte makes. So, one of the cheapest A4, AM4 motherboard makes, a Gigabyte makes in general. Um, anyway, I'm just going to bump up the fan speed setting on the, on the cooler, and I'm going to show you what that does to the VRM temperature. So there we go. So now the fan is doing uh, over three and a half thousand RPM and the VRM temperature should start dropping and get down to somewhere around 90 degrees, eventually 90-ish degrees eventually. Um, yeah, so now it's doing, you know, 3600 RPM. So it is very loud. Um, but also the VRM temperatures should improve slowly. So now we're down to 95 on, yeah. So you can see now it's dropping, right? Like previously it was hovering around the little over 100 degrees. Now it's going below 100. Like the temperature's not going up anymore. It's actually just going down, even as Cinebench is running. So yeah, um, like that, 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 the, the airflow from the heat sink is the like it, it does a lot for the vrm temperatures so if we didn't have the downdraft air cooler like this would be running way hotter um and uh yeah like with a th so basically with a 3900x with, with the heatsink that it comes with you would actually be okay um but uh yeah with a 3950x like there are some cooling considerations with this setup but what I think is really cool, though, is that the board actually won't let you break it. So, like, right now, we're running, and the board does seem to be power throttling the CPU a bit. Like, normally, a 3950X should be able to go up to 144 package power over here, but as you can see, it's only going up to 123. Um, 
So, yeah, it is it is not pulling as much power as it should be able to. Also, um, you can't PBO, um, which is a good thing in this situation, as far as I'm concerned. So, just going to restart. I said restart. But, uh, yeah, so, so this is like... This is really borderline. Like, I would, like you could technically run a 3900X on this or a 3950X. And with the 3950X, we're definitely losing a little bit of performance. With And this is why I mash the delete key like a maniac and don't... Uh, holding the delete button doesn't work. <laughs> like, with every motherboard I've ever owned, it was either mash delete or find yourself in Windows. There was no such thing as hold delete to get into BIOS. Anyway, so the actual temperature that the VRM gets up to is like 100-ish degrees is not, like for a VRM that's fine. It's It's borderline, but it's still fine. Like you know, th there's a line and that a, a little over 100 degrees, you haven't crossed that line yet. Um, but uh, yeah, like you w really wouldn't want to cool it any other way. Also, if the room temperature was any higher, because the room is relatively cool right now. It's, uh, I'm, I'm going to guess around 24 degrees, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, but we go into... Uh, XFR here, and I just adjust the limits. Just gonna set that to manual, and we're just gonna go three, 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 two, two, two. Or actually, we're we're just gonna go down to two hundred. Um, the the board enforces a uh, like lower power limit, no matter what you do, as far as I can I, I can tell, um, which seems to be set around one hundred thirty watts. So. And that's a good thing as far as I'm concerned, because it basically means you can't overload the motherboard, because it won't let you. Um, though it does leave me kind of disappointed in the sense that I can't show you the motherboard like overheating and shutting down or something, but like... It, it like honestly, it's better if the motherboard just doesn't let you do stupid stuff. So, yeah, we're just gonna scroll down, and if I run it now, it's just gonna run the same as always, right? Like CPU is not thermally limited whatsoever. We're we're at around seventy degrees. VRM is slowly crawling up to back back up to the 90s, right? Like, but the 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 power draw from the CPU isn't any higher. It's not boosting any higher. We're still at a little over 3.9 gigahertz, and we are actually clocked lower than we would be if I was using a better motherboard. Like, this is costing me performance, um, but it's not like. You're not losing a ton of performance by doing this, but it's still like you, you should actually just buy a better motherboard with a 3950X or even a 3900X because both of these CPUs are 144 watt power limits, but the board it seems to be enforcing something like 130. Um, and I'm basing that off of the fact that like I've never seen the PPT, like the maximum PPT has basically always been something around 130 watts. So I think the board is just restricted to 130 um, and nothing you do will allow you to exceed 130, which is good because that means you can't break the board. Because if I could actually get the CPU to pull 200 watts or 300, like, well, 300 watts is not going to happen on PBO, but 200 watts can be done with PBO. And like this board, like this board is barely handling 130, um, like, and it is handling it, but barely. And it's just like it wouldn't handle 200. So, yeah, like this, this is a, like, this is fine. At the same time, it's like, you know, right on the edge. So, 
yeah anyway that, that's kind of it so yeah you you can run a 3950x on a uh a on literally the cheapest a520 motherboard gigabyte makes it's gonna be a little bit powered throttled it's gonna run pretty hot but as long as you have a downdraft air cooler it's actually kind of okay like you know it's not a complete like it's not literally dead um so yeah <laughs> That's kind of it for the video. That's that's really all there is to it. So, yeah, thirty nine fifty X on on a five twenty. Um, definitely not like I still wouldn't recommend this, but it does actually work. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with the actually hardcore overclocking channel, then. Uh, uh, I have a Patreon, there's a link to that down in the description below where you can support me. There's also the AHOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch, and uh, both of those help out immensely with running the channel. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to check those out, that that would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's that's it in the, that, yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.